Mark, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Welcome to Birmingham. Thank you. First Love time it. here? Loving it. No, second time. Second time here? Actually stayed in this hotel the first time. Okay, how's the convention going? So far, so good. Lots of laughter, lots of fun. American fans have just obviously seen the, uh, the series finale of, of Supernatural, but what have the, uh, the British fans got in store for them? They've got something very exciting, I think. There's a nice twist, a good surprise ending that'll really knock people on their butts. Yeah. yeah. And there's a surprise number of people who have, I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but seen it on the internet. <laughs> naughty, naughty. I mean, your character's got quite a, a bit of, obviously, a, bit, a sad backstory. Yeah. And it's quite driven sort of, uh, you know, by vengeance. But do you have any sympathy for him as a, <coughs> as a character? Of course, my God. The, the poor guy had his entire family murdered. He was a devout Catholic. He thought that, you know, if I believe in God and I play by the rules, then, you know, my life is going to go well. And he got a big slap in the face. And uh, didn't just lose his faith, but was angry at God. And who couldn't sympathize with somebody like that? I think we're in season five now of Supernatural. How much, uh, how much further do you think it can go? Well, you know, I think Kripke only wanted it to go... Didn't he want it to go only five or six? I forget, I forget the exact number, but... Uh, I mean, uh, I, I could see it going on forever and ever and ever. It seems like a phenomenon, does yeah, it not? Yeah. And, uh, and uh, they build upon each other. The episodes build upon each other rather well. So it can go on for a long time.